In a series of tweets on Monday night, Donald Trump took to the art of predicting the future. Rather than accept failure on his latest evil plan to erase the legacy of Barack Obama, he predicted a White House win in 2020 for himself, a Republican takeover of the House, and a holding of the Senate, leaving Democrats with no power in Washington. The series of tweets seems to have been prompted by the completely predictable response by Republicans to Trump's desire to bring health care front and center one more time. Trump's strategy, without having any plan, to replace the current version of the Affordable Care Act, was to mount a legal challenge to Obamacare. Following the lack of support from Republicans and a direct message from Mitch McConnell to work it out with Nancy Pelosi, we are now left with Trump's version of Trust Me, in spite of the previews of Trump's view of healthcare seen in his March budget. The Monday night tweets reveal that the Republicans are working on a plan that will be better than Obamacare, less expensive than Obamacare, will protect pre-existing conditions and be much more usable than Obamacare. The catch? Voters need to trust his less than trustworthy words, vote for him, and once he wins, he will reveal the plan whose vote is to take place right after the 2020 election. At this point, it is unclear that any Republicans are even working on any plan to revise the ACA. The hot potato of healthcare helped lead the Republicans to the biggest losses in the House ever recorded, and it is not a topic that they want to make center stage as we head into the 2020 election cycle. Dot with 34 Senate seats up for grabs in 2020, and 22 of them held by Republicans, Democrats look as though they are in a good position to gain the number of seats that they need for a majority. Democrats will need to keep talking about Trump's goal to invalidate the ACA without a replacement, as well as his earlier statements denying the need to cover pre-existing conditions. Trump brought this issue back to life, and the Democrats need to keep it there, as all 435 House seats, as well as the most important seat in the White House up for grabs.